Many of you have been sharing with us several videos from two different Acadiana schools this week. One showing a fight, the other a group of cheerleaders, and in it you can hear a racial slur being used. Now we're choosing not to show the videos, primarily because those involve minors and could involve hate speech. The first, a fight at Northside High School. School officials say they've disciplined those involved and even called law enforcement to investigate. They're also working with the victim and his parents. The second video involving IOTA High School students. The school system says they're speaking with both students and parents and disciplinary action will follow. Now all of this made us look a bit closer into cell phone use in our daily lives and the danger and distractions they sometimes bring. Mike Carter reports. Cell phones and social media. These tools of the modern age can expose corruption, start a movement, or simply share what you had for lunch. But more and more these days, it seems the power these tools hold is grossly underestimated. Something that that is often talked about is cell phone addiction. UL professor Scott Smith is a nationally renowned expert on the effects of cell phone distraction on people and relationships. People uh, dehumanize individuals uh, not for an opportunity to intervene, but as an opportunity to obtain likes. Recently, this University of Alabama student uploaded a video of herself chanting racial slurs to her Instagram account. Thinking only her close friends would see it, the video nevertheless got out and she was expelled. You know, in the past, there was an opportunity to intervene and stop and say, hey, don't do that no more. Well, something that's beginning to happen now is that individuals are reporting those behaviors, posting them to Facebook to gain favoritism or liked by the peers as opposed to being advocate for the peers. On Thursday, Jack White of the band White Stripes joined other artists who are banning the use of cell phones at concerts. It's something Gerd Westernin of ACA has grappled with for years. You know, every once in a while I'm mesmerized because I have someone sitting in front of me uh, that just spent 70 or $80 on a ticket and experiences the whole show, or a big part of the show through this tiny little screen. The biggest challenge is when, when whatever you do in our theater impacts the person sitting next to you or the person on the other side of the screen. In Lafayette, Mike Carter, KATC-TV3.